hello everyone so today i am going to show you how we can install eclipse id over mac os based system and run your java program so for that we need to first install the eclipse id so let's download the same so i am going to download the latest eclipse id version or you can download any version of eclipse id that is going to be compatible with for your system so let's type eclipse for mac and let's select the eclipse we need to go to the eclipse.organization website and here it's showing us eclipse version for windows mac os and linux and here it is showing us to download eclipse id for java developers but this eclipse is going to only support the core java based java projects and not the java double e or enterprise java projects so for that we need to go and select from menu eclipse packages and then from here we need to download eclipse id for enterprise java and web developers so i am going to download the arc 64 based because i am running on mac os m2 based processor if you are running on mac os intel based processor you need to download the mac os x86 underscore 64 based eclipse okay so let's download the same also please make sure that you have the java version installed on your mac os system to check which java version and which jdk is installed on your system you just need to go to the terminal you just need to type java c underscore hyphen version and you can see i have installed the java c 17.0.4.1 and i have also installed the jre as the same version you can also check the same over your machine i will be sharing the commands like, like how you can check the same over your machines these both commands are actually same for both mac os and windows based system so let's wait for few more seconds till our eclipse gets downloaded as we can see eclipse is downloading in .dmg format that is basically the default format we are using for mac os based systems for windows based system it's .exe so it's downloaded so let's open the same so i'm going to drag this app eclipse over my applications folder you can also do the same now it's copying the eclipse to the applications folder so it has copied the same now i'm going to close this window going to the applications and i can see eclipse has been moved to my applications folder now i'm going to open the same we need to open this application so we have downloaded the eclipse id version 2022 and we need to select where we need to set up our workspace so let's see i'm going to set up my work workspace in documents folder here i am going to set up okay so you can also name your like java codes and you can launch the same okay so now let's start and create a new project a basic project to see and verify if eclipse is running fine or not So we need to select the java project the default project for java core java applications we need to give a project name for our project so i'm giving it java demo and you need to select the jre java runtime environment the specific runtime environment you are going to run your java project so i have installed the java 17 the latest stable version of java and you can select any java version you wanted to run or any java version you have installed so now i don't want to create any module because i just wanted to run and check whether my java uh, has been installed and working correctly or not so next and now finish
and I'm going to also open the perspective or we can see the window for core Java applications in Eclipse by default the perspective or window that is opened in Eclipse is for Java enterprise based applications so I'm going to open this perspective so by right clicking here I'm going to create a class and I'm going to name it as first class and I'm also going to give it a name package name and I'm also going to select the main method here public static void name now finish now system dot out dot print ln hello java now let's run the program so yeah it's running fine and eclipse has been installed over my system you can also do the same so thank you guys